first tray is watered in and in the shade to recover from transplant. This is reseeded Elysium in the garden extras corner of the greenhouse. This is going to have to be dealt with too. I can put these in little pots and sell them into summer is what I'm thinking. That's when the gardens, you know, all the spring summer things have bloomed and you need that pop of color for the end of the season. This will do it. Peat moss is what I'm using in my mix. I'm going to go heavy on the peat because they're transplants and they need the water and the, the chicken area. That's where my uh, peat moss is hanging out. Work area. I seen some raspberries growing in the grass when you have to dig them out too. So that's how Garden Extras grows. I garden and I find things that need to be dealt with that I don't want to throw away. These are the raspberries growing in the grass. Put them in a pot and save them for the fall sale. I found a spot for my winter propagations. This hydrangea was propagated in the winter. I pulled the sticks in the late fall and stuck them in some water. And it'll be a couple years before I think they're ready to sell. Picture popped up on my Facebook of this garden last year, exactly a year ago. And it just inspired me to work on it. So I pulled things out of Garden Extras, which I've mentioned before, I do shop there when I'm redoing a garden. So in, in progress, still working on it. Thought it'd be better to film it before I'm finished. So you can see what I'm up to. I'd mentioned I'd moved the sedum from the front garden where I was pulling out the daisies, caladiums. This is where I put it. It looked a lot, well over here it looks good. I wanted to put some wild daisies back here, but they did not take. So I'll probably take the ones that I put in a pot in the shade and after they've rooted in and try again. Oh my gosh, my favorite daisy. I do not know the name of this one, but this is my favorite one. I seeded these myself. I didn't buy them in a nursery, and only two took. For a brief minute, there were three, but that was way worth it. Now I'm still trying to reseed them. Because this garden was all redone, who knows if there's any seeds on top where they can sprout. Morning ducks. They are so happy and so fun to watch. So this has always been one of my favorite spots and it got split up a lot by the chickens and the ducks. But I still have a nice corner here that I will probably keep punching out on the other side instead of this side, which is being destroyed. This was the edge of that garden, which I'm trying to save some of it. And they're not bothering this back piece too much. And I'm still finding ways to garden out here in the uh, chicken run. I'm talking about putting fruit trees in here. And there's grapes that's going to climb the fence this year. It's 
coolish this week, so I'm going to enjoy working on it. One last thing before I sign off. These are the African daisies I took out of the corner garden. They're standing up, rooting in. Looking good. I'm going to leave them in the shade. It's going to get hot again soon. We have a bunch of African daisies in here. They did well last year. And there are hollyhocks that seeded in here a long time ago. So I gotta take them out. I'm short hollyhocks this year. I lost a bunch of them. I put a bunch of debris in here before I finished this garden kind of fall scrap, big pieces of hollyhock that I had cut back and they were seeding at the time. So a bunch of stuff got seeded in here for me throwing things in here in the fall before I finished this garden. Get back from it a little ways. The lawn care people ran over these hostas at the beginning of the year, but they've recovered. I used the old Elysium from last year to make the path visible. This giant shrub is not very showy this year. Sometimes it's beautiful. And this is this year's new garden. And the side of the shed is getting planted. Because the shed divided the gardens, <clears throat> I upped the gardening on this side. And now it was before the chicken coop and the duck run which really broke up and destroyed the garden. <clears throat> but I'll keep shuffling and growing and starting new ones. There's always one more thing. This is the second of the my favorite daisy out of the two that made it. So I did, at the end of the year, seed this one in this garden. And this garden hasn't been messed with too much, so maybe we'll get some more.